Welcome to Season Roundup, a show where I take a look at every single anime I tried, completed, or have put on hold for the time being and give you my overall thoughts and impressions on them. If you're curious about what you should watch from the summer 2016 anime season or just want to look at what I thought overall at the season I deem to be my favorite anime season since fall 2013, then sit back and relax as we take a look at this wonderful season. Jojo once again continues to deliver hilarious comedy and insanely clever battles. More on the episodic side this season, but when they pull back to the main plot, it's very entertaining and detailed. Even if you aren't a fan of Jojo, I recommend you start part 4 as it is in my opinion the best Jojo part for the anime so far, as it's more than just dumb fun for this season. It started off good, in fact I will say it started off fantastic, an anime following a main character who doesn't use brute strength but actually his intelligence to overcome obstacles. Mixed in with a playboy persona, you have one of the best characters from the season, mixed in with a military story. Overall it's solid, but the last third of the anime felt lackluster compared to the rest. Overall the animation was on point, and I would recommend all anime fans to check out Alderman on the Sky even if the last third was lackluster. Easily the underdog of the season, a lot including myself were worried with 91 Days as these mafia style stories keep failing in terms of anime, but 91 Days takes a mature approach to it and executes its story and characters close to flawlessly. The animation and art is rough, but it lends itself to match the tone of the series very well. Watch this, it's not an option as it is fantastic. One of the most adorable shows I have ever seen. Following a father who is taking care of his daughter after he just lost his wife, we follow a man learning to cook with one of his students in one of the most innocent and cute stories I have seen in a long time. Even if you don't like cute things, try this, it might change your mind. I watched a good 3 minutes of this and within the first 3 minutes, I saw more fan service and shitty character designs than I wanted to. Pass on this. Despite the short 8 episode length of the second season of Arslan, it takes everything we loved about the first season and the story quality and animation as well gets amplified to increase everything about it. It sets itself up perfectly for a third season and in due time I expect we will have one. I loved almost everything about the second season and it delivered all I could have hoped for. If you have yet to start Arslan, I recommend you check out the first and second season as it is well worth your time and gives a more classic feeling to anime. It's a cat and a banana which became an internet meme so people thought it was great. I wasn't a fan. Despite the hate for the first episode, I quite enjoyed it. However, I did drop this after episode 3. It wasn't for me. Where the Golden Age movies leaves off is enough to satisfy me, and where I saw the story going seemed like it was trying to be too edgy for the sake of being edgy. And yeah, it doesn't look good either. Fate Khalid is a magical girl take on the Fate universe, and though each season has been a hit or a miss for me, overall I enjoyed this season. Some rough parts along the way, but it seems like it's getting back to what I enjoyed about the series. More of the magical girl take and less of the fan service. However, the fan service is still there, so if they can lay off completely on the 8 year old fan service, we would be talking. I'm usually not a fan of yokai stories, but Fukigen had the perfect balance of chemistry with its characters to the world and it kept me interested the entire way through. Not an amazing anime by any means, but if you want a good yokai story, this will do you justice. The series is almost like a parody series that keeps breaking the fourth wall at times. This was hilarious and filled the void that Sakamoto from the spring season left me. Give this one episode and if you laugh, continue it. Studio Dean has proven themselves to be the best studio of the year in my honest opinion. They were never a great studio, but this year, each season, they throw out something that's great, but not only is it great, it's unique. And this was not only one of the funniest anime of the season to me, but also the biggest twist of the season. Fifth grader boys who look 17, one dating a high school girl, it's a parody and it's hilarious. Just watch episode 1, it's honestly the funniest anime this year for me. Our club was a really relaxing and funny series at times, it can be clever with its writing and never bored me. If they made a second season I would watch it, but I'm happy with what we got. You know all those etchy series that try to be smart but fail? Yeah, this knows it's stupid and rolls with it. The main character powers up females by making them come. I'm not making this up, this actually happens, and it doesn't hide its stupidity with cheap writing and rolls with it. Like why I watch Bad Hentai, I enjoyed this. You don't need to watch this, but if you want a good laugh, give it a go for an episode or two. Love Live Sunshine wasn't all I was hoping for, but it wasn't totally bad. It had far too many similarities with the first series, but it was executed overall okay. It wasn't bad nor was it good, it was just okay. It was impossible for it to live up to the first series, but the fun and interesting cast of characters do make it enjoyable. My feel good anime of the season, each week I watched New Game I had a smile on my face and always laughed each episode. It's not going to be the Shirobako of game development, but it is cute, funny, and it has a refreshing setting being in a game studio. Currently I have this on hold, I watched 6 episodes but I'm torn if I should continue. The melodrama in this series is far more than even I can handle at times, with the main female Naho being more dense than a harem protagonist. If Kakuru was gay and went for Sua instead of her, it would be far more enjoyable. It looks great, it sounds great, but it's a bundled mess with poorly written drama. Try it, you might like it. I probably will finish this at some point, but not anytime soon. 
This wasn't anything amazing and suffered major animation issues as it went on, but overall it was a fun action series with a few interesting twists along the way. Not worth recommending, but if you decide to watch it, you might have fun. Real Life released all episodes at the start of the season, and it was a fantastic ride. Clever writing, interesting characters with a believable high school setting. Simply put, watch it. This looked like ass, so I dropped it within 5 minutes. I wanted much more than what I got with Sir Vamp, but if you want a pretty fun vampire story, this might do you good, but if you're looking for the next Shiki, look elsewhere. You know, this started out good. It did. It was fun, it had good goals and ambitions, but halfway through it threw them in the trash as I did with this shit. I dropped it halfway through and based on the response with the finale it wasn't worth finishing, so skip this. Tails look great, it sounds great, and overall it is fun. Though it feels much too like a video game and suffers from a character development point because of this. This is where the adaptation should really have changed more instead of sticking to the source material as Sorry the main character feels like a character in New Game Plus rather than a character just learning to use his powers. It's fun and is worth watching but I am disappointed overall. Hopefully the second chord does pick up. It's ReZero. It got better in the second half where the first half was already fantastic. I reviewed the first season already and pointed out everything amazing with it, where it fails and where it succeeds, but in my opinion it is the best anime to come out in the past year. My hidden gem of the season and the anime I enjoy talking about the most each and every week. It has a lot of faults, but I love theory crafting as an anime original and tons of visual novel players enjoyed watching me do so. I will be reviewing this anime soon, but should you watch this visual novel adaptation, honestly it's up to you. Watch the first episode, if you like what you see continue, as there is going to be a second season coming up and I for one cannot wait. Overall this season was fantastic, so many amazing series and not a lot of drop worthy ones. Haters can say what they want, but I haven't enjoyed an anime season since fall 2013 like I did with summer 2016. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below, what did you love from the season and what didn't you like? And as always, smash that like button to show your support, so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one.